Hi, I'm Brenna Butler, and along with my advisor, Dr. Jennifer Ann Morrow, we would like to welcome you to listening to our poster presentation on inquiry-based science education assessments. So there has been a recent shift in statistics education, specifically with undergraduates, where the focus is not on students' understanding of theory and assessing their ability to memorize formulas, but rather looking at students' understanding of statistical concepts in applied fields. So how do we ensure that our assessments we're using in our classrooms are measuring students' understanding and application of statistical concepts in real life? Well, one way to do this is through an IBSE tool, which stands for Inquiry-Based Science Education. And this is the type of assessment that we'll be walking through in this presentation. An IBSE is unique that it focuses on three main aspects. Assessing students' ability to develop their own hypotheses, design their own experiments, and then evaluate that evidence. So why would you want to use an IBSE assessment in your own statistics classroom? Well, previous research has shown that an IBSE assessment will promote the use of higher order thinking skills through students practicing applied statistical methodology, which then promotes the development of scientific critical thinking strategies, and ultimately, this better prepares students for statistics related careers. So we will now walk through the main steps of an IBSE assessment, and we'll provide some tips for instructors when implementing this into their own classrooms along the way. We recommend that this assessment be used as an intermediate undergraduate level statistics course, either as a midterm or final, but you could perform some modifications on it to make it suitable for either high school or graduate school statistics courses. So the first step of this assessment is that students are provided by the instructor a real life data set and they have at least a day or two to explore this data set and they will be looking at some of the research questions that are interest to them. And then for lower level students, you may want to provide several pre-developed research questions on this step that they can then select to explore further. As part of this assessment, students will provide a two to four paragraph write-up on how they explored the data set and developed their own research questions. The second step of an IBSE assessment is for students to independently develop hypotheses and also select what statistical methods to test these hypotheses. Students will provide a few paragraph justification on why they selected the specific analyses they did along with providing the output of the tests in the statistical software they use. Instructors, make sure that you're specific here on how many hypotheses you want students to develop and maybe limit the types of statistical analyses that students are able to use on the assessment. Next, students will independently describe in a few paragraphs what each of their test results mean and relate it back to the context of their own research questions they developed. Instructors, it's important that you emphasize to students in class how to interpret statistics results in context of a research question and how they use this information in real life. We find that students often struggle with this step, so practicing this step in class will then assess, assist students on this step in the assessment. The fourth and final step of an IBSE assessment is for students to evaluate their analyses. So questions such as, what are the advantages and disadvantages of the statistical test they use? Are there any alternative tests they could use to answer their own research questions? And what are some of the limitations are there to their analyses? These are all questions that students will answer in a few paragraphs on their assessment. This part may be foreign to some students, so it's important for instructors to practice this self-evaluation process in class before students complete the assessment. Well, we hope that you found this presentation to be helpful in designing your own IBSE assessments in your statistics courses. Please visit the link on the screen or scan the QR code with your phone to receive additional resources that relate to IBSE statistics assessments, including grading rubrics for instructors to use. Please feel free to email us with any questions you may have or comment on our poster online. Thanks for attending our presentation.